Well, you don't have to be as talented as her to get out and enjoy, you know, the day out on a skateboard or maybe a bike or just going out for a walk because it's pretty nice out there right now. Yeah, I like my wrist not broken, so I stay <laughs> off the skateboard. So if you want to go out for a walk or a jog or, hey, maybe you're a skateboarder and you are a risk taker, get outside and enjoy what will be a beautiful afternoon. It's not going to be as hot, still above average. It's late June. It should be warm. It is warm in Long Beach at the airport, a couple miles from the water. It's 81 degrees uh, right at the beach. It's about the mid 70s. Los Angeles, I bumped up the high for today to 84. Five degrees above average, but the bigger number is that it's seven degrees cooler than yesterday. We hit 91 yesterday. Burbank 86 for a high today, Ontario 92. Santa Ana, five degrees above average, 81. Your normal is 76. Continue to keep an eye on air quality. There may be an issue, especially uh, out toward the northern sections of the uh, Inland Empire, up towards San Bernardino and the foothills themselves. Uh, we've seen unhealthy air quality over the past couple days. Right now it's good to moderate, but that air quality alert continues throughout the day today. Most of LA County, most of Orange County, all of the Inland Empire. We'll see if that gets extended after today. I think it might, especially for the Inland Empire. This weekend, not as hot, not as warm. 79 in Los Angeles, which happens to be exactly average. Sunday, a little bit warmer, high of 82. There will be some morning clouds, but I think we'll get a lot of afternoon sunshine. There's that 81 in Long Beach. Uh, visibility, 10 miles. The wind is now coming from the ocean. That will cool us down, and the dew point is still high. 60 degree dew points, pretty high for us, so it feels a little sticky outside. Riverside, welcome to the 90 degree club. You and Santa Clarita just joined for the day. Pasadena, Simi Valley, not that far away. It's still warm, 88 degrees. I know it's not as hot as yesterday, still warm. And the ocean temperature is 67. So the efficiency of the cooling from the ocean decreases as the temperature goes up. The fan isn't as cold right now because the ocean's running warmer. That said, it is coming back with a storm to our north, our ridge of high pressure sliding off to the east. That opens the door from the flow from the ocean to return. It was not strong enough for morning cloud cover today. The ridge is not close enough for any widespread thunderstorms. There could be a few thunderstorms out toward the San Jacintos moving away from us. Tomorrow morning, our computer models say there's the chance, not a guarantee, but the chance that some low cloud cover hugs the immediate coastline for an hour or two. There's a much higher chance we shave a few degrees off of the highs. Not much. A couple degrees cooler will likely knock you down to the upper 70s for Garden Grove, the upper 80s for Glendora, and the mid 70s for Torrance. Los Angeles, today's 84 will likely be the warmest we get for the next week. If you don't like it hot, that's not a bad thing because the coolest we get is 79. So kind of in that comfortable range where it's not hot, but it's also not cold. Valleys, your temperatures will stay elevated. You'll be in the 90s for the next couple days, upper 80s Friday and Saturday with some morning cloud cover. Inland Empire, 93. If you like that temperature, I got great news for you. Four of the next seven days feature a high of 93 degrees, including today and tomorrow and also Thursday. Amy, back to you. All right, Paul, thanks so much. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.